Hi everybody, this is Janice. I am back with card number five from the Cloud9 card making kit from Close to My Heart. This is a promotion for the month of January. You can purchase it for $15 when you spend $35 and it's a great kit because it has an exclusive stamp set that is worth $17.95 as well as you're getting exclusive embellishments and paper that you can't get outside of this kit. So let's get started with card number five. You have great instructions. They are really good about that. That's something that um, I have always known about close to my heart and I appreciate. So we're looking at this card right here. Love the sketch. Remember you can use these sketches over and over again with different papers, different companies, different just follow the same principles and um, the same design and just uh, change it up with different things. So that's fun. Okay so let's go ahead and do this one. We need 5A 5B and 5C. I did label all of my pieces when I cut them out with some pencil. With pencil. <laughs> and so here they are. Okay, these are our paper pieces. And then we've got these hearts that came already cut. Um, just punched them out of the sheet. But um, once those are all gone, if you have a Cricut, the Cricut Artiste cartridge, you can cut them over and over again. And like I said, just change up the colors and the and the design however you would like. So for this card we are going to be having the fold at the top. So here's our card and if I and I didn't tell you that in this video but it comes with all the envelopes and the cards so for $15 you're making 10 cards. You can't you can't beat that you really can't so here we go. Alright so we've got this little skinny piece here that we need to uh, dovetail and to dovetail is really really simple all you do is you kind of cut in a little bit and then you go to the corner and you cut towards that slit and then that little triangle falls out okay that's it simple and then we're going to, in the diagram, oh, it's probably about like maybe an inch or so from the bottom. You don't have to be precise about this. You just eyeball it. But if you need to be precise, then you just go ahead. Whatever, this will be good for anybody. Okay, then the next thing that we need to do is put our piece of washi tape. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of eyeball how long I need this to be. And in the diagram it has it being straight. You could dovetail this, you know, for a different look. In fact, I don't actually like it cut straight like that. I I think I would prefer it dovetailed, so I'm going to do that this time, just just because I can, you know. And then I'm going to line it up using the line from the paper, the pattern paper. Okay, and then we're going to get rid of that piece there. make sure this is right okay because I've done that before <laughs> put it on there upside down and then we need our shimmer trim it's gonna go there and that's supposed to be not quite as long as the bottom one just in between which is a neat look so I'll dovetail this and cut this straight And then we'll get the backing off of this. And we'll just line it up there. Yeah, I like that with the washi tape dovetailed. Or you could do it with it just ripped, just randomly, you know. 
That's a neat look as well. I just, I, I don't like that straight edge there like that. It's probably my least favorite thing. And then we're going to layer all of these pieces here. So. You could even use this as a layout for a page, for a scrapbook page, and just do the same kind of elements, but do them, do them bigger. Okay, now, and, and that's pretty much it, except for these little, um, the little embellishments here, the little triangles. Need three going to the right. I really like these. This, these were fun to use. And see, I have a few left over for another card. Then what I have left to do is work with these hearts. And then there's also... Uh, there's also some other little hearts. I had everything in the envelope. What did I do? I thought I, oh, here they are. They got lost. Here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this ancient page mandarin color. And I'm looking for my sponge dauber. It was here. Where'd it go? Where did you go? goodness. Oh, there it is. It rolled over here. Okay. We're going to stamp this adorable heart. And it's not the ancient page. It's the broken, it's the peacock feathers. And then we're going to ink the other heart with the mandarin. My sister's coming over here to have dinner and I'm just squeezing in the last one so it can be uploading while we're all hanging out. I love it. I just love how that's stamped. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, so then I'm going to take I wish I knew where my little Okay, that's okay. I'm going to do this. So we've got a sponge dauber. I'm pretty sure you can order these from close to my heart as well. If you know, if you don't have a Joann's or Michael's nearby, you can um, get them there too. But if you don't have that, those stores, I know everybody isn't as fortunate as some of us who have choices of Michael's. I'm telling you, Orlando, there's no shortage of shopping here. <clears throat> None. I was hoping that Archivers was going to come here. And um, if you didn't know, they're closing their doors. I get their emails, even though we don't have one here, because I used to shop there with my, with my Dawn in Georgia. I used to shop there, and that stinks, because I really like that store. Okay, so we've done the edges of that, and then you have to do the entire thing of this one. Or you can cut it out of that sunset paper. But this just shows a technique of something you can do if you don't have, you know, that color paper. You can just, um, with these sponge jobbers, it's great because you can look how good that looks. And I'm going to take this piece of scrap paper because I don't have anything to clean it off right in front of me. This is going to get popped up like I did the other ones. And then, and it goes in the middle there. And then the bigger one goes here. And the larger or the smaller one goes about there. And that's it. That is card number five. 
So now I have 10 cards, yay! I'm so excited and I did them all, most of them I did today, so that's great for a Friday. Um, so thanks for watching everybody. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and um, get your kit. Don't forget, this is only available in January. So go over to, go down to the description and I'll have a link to Carol Horton's store, close to my heart store, and you can order yours there. Just $35 purchase gets you that set for $15. And then you could get the $5 stamp of the month, which is really cute. It's like a cross stitchy stamp. Um, February love type look. It's so cute. So anyway, um, have a great weekend and thanks again for watching. Bye.